Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're gonna walk you guys through how to configure firewall on Windows Server 2025. In today's video, we're gonna walk you guys through step-by-step -step how to configure firewall settings in Windows Server 2025. Before we get started with today's video, if you guys are interested in purchasing Windows Server, remote desktop licenses, Windows 10, Windows 11, Microsoft Office, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, be sure to check out Indigo Software. We'll have those links down below. So without further ado, let's jump in. Okay guys, so I just fired up Windows Server 2025. This is my main server that I use for the channel. And I do have this server promoted to a domain controller. One of the requisites that we need to ensure of before we start this process is that we are signed into the server as an, is that we are logged in as an administrator to the server and or domain controller. So I'll go ahead and log in as administrator here with my credentials and let's go ahead and open up server. Now we're gonna wanna start in the server manager, which is most likely already open by default. If it's not, we can always search for that in the search menu or by hitting the start key and searching for server manager or accessing it from our pinned apps. Okay, and then once we're here, we're gonna go over to tools and we're gonna see down towards the bottom right, we have Windows Defender Firewall with advanced security. This is gonna be our main area where we can configure and adjust our firewall settings. So I'll click that to open that and I'll go ahead and enlarge this. Okay, so let's start with a basic navigation of where our settings are and what options we might have. So here we're in the general firewall settings and then if we click down, we can see our inbound and outbound rules. Again, our inbound rules are going to specify settings for attempted connections to our server and then outbound rules are going to affect our attempted connections to any external source from our server. Below that, we have connection security rules and we'll talk a little bit more about this later. And then we have our monitoring section. If we right click on this top menu here, we're gonna have access to a few additional settings. So we have import and export policy. We can restore our default policy. We also have diagnose or repair options and refresh properties and help. So this is pretty useful. Again, we can right click here at any time. On the Windows Defender Firewall tab, I'm gonna open up the properties menu and explore some of what we can do from here. So note that we have our domain, private and public profiles. We also have IP sex settings. We can make some adjustments directly from within this properties menu here. So for example, if I wanted to switch off my firewall, I could do that. And then after I hit apply, we can now see in our overview section that Windows Defender Firewall is off. So we have quick adjustments that we can make from our properties settings here. And then just to recap again at this top page here, this is kind of like an overview page. If we need to access some of the most common tools or preferences, this overview page is a generally a pretty good place to find that. For example, again, we can open our properties, inbound, outbound rules, monitoring. This is kind of like our overview page. Let's spend some time looking at the rules. So I'll start on the inbound rules page. This is separated into a variety of headers here. So for example, if I click Microsoft Outlook here, we can see that it's enabled, action is set to allow. And then we've also got our protocol and port listed on the right. So we can use this to determine which rules are currently active. If the enabled section is set to yes, then that rule is enabled. Note that some of these are set to no by default. Now, if I want to enable some of these rules that are not enabled, I can click once to select it. And then we've got this little action menu to our right. So I can click to enable this rule. And this rule is now enabled. And I can do the same thing to disable other rules if I'd like to. And then we've also got several other options here and we can filter or create new rules on our action menu on the right. Let's see what happens if we click to create a new rule. So the rule type, we've got several options. We have program, port, or predefined. We also can make a custom rule. Now let's say I want to select a rule for a program. I'll hit next here. And then here we'd wanna specify a program path. Let's say I wanna do this for Microsoft Edge. So we want to select the program in our settings. So we want to select our program and we'll click open. Okay, we can see that edge.exe is now the program path. We'll hit next here and we could allow the connection. We could allow the connection, connection if it's secure and then we can customize that further. We could also block the connection entirely. In my case, I want to go ahead and allow the connection. So I'll hit next. We can apply this to our different profiles. 
I'll leave all of them selected. And then I'll just give this a title and we can click finish. We can see our new rule at the very top. And again, we can disable or enable that at any time. The exact same scenario applies to the outbound rules. If we want to manage, disable, enable, or create new rules, we can follow the steps that we just did on the inbound tab. Let's go back down to connection security rules. Now, if I click a new rule in connection security rules, it's gonna allow us to specify which type of connection security rule that we may want to create. For example, we have isolation, authentication exemption, server to server, tunnel, or custom again. So if you have a specific security rule that you need to configure, this wizard here will help make that possible. We have the rule type requirements, authentication method, and then again, we'll have profiles and the name. And that pretty much sums it up for the Windows Defender firewall with advanced security. Hopefully this video helps you to configure your firewall in a way that you need to for your server. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for today's video. If you have any questions about anything we went over, feel free to drop those in the comments below and we'll get back with you as soon as we can. Again, if you're interested in purchasing genuine Microsoft software at a great price, be sure to check out Indigo Software. We'll have those links down below. As our channel continues to grow, we're constantly looking for new video topic ideas. If you have any ideas of your own, we'd love to hear what those are. Most viewer commented video requests get made into actual videos on our channel. Lastly, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated as it helps to support our channel. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.